Well, a lot of you are asking, where will this streetcar go? And here's a map of the different routes. 12 News Hillary Mintz takes us along for a ride. Fourth and St. Paul here, right at the intermodal station. This is where it all starts for the streetcar. This is the beginning of the route. I want to take you along for a ride to give you a sense of what it would be like. We've got you covered from three different angles right here in the car, from the street, and up above in News Chopper 12. We're heading east now on St. Paul towards the lakefront. We're going over the Milwaukee River into the third ward by the Milwaukee Public Market. Which is just steps from Richard Koenig's Red Elephant Chocolate Shop. The more you people you bring down here, um, the better it is for business. There's a lot of needs in the city. Joe Kennedy also works in the third ward and is on board with the project. There's not um, a strong pull for business. There's not a strong pull for retail. And I don't know if the streetcar will, will solve that, but I think it's certainly a step towards that. Now, the initial route would have the streetcar winding its way through the third ward. It would take you to the lakefront and then also head north to the east side of Milwaukee. Yeah, I think I would be able to take the, the bus and then get on the, the, the streetcar. I think that would be good. Small businesses and large corporations are all excited about the development they believe the streetcar will bring to the city. Driving through downtown Milwaukee, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Milwaukee joins more than a dozen cities in the U.S. with similar streetcar systems, including Kansas City, Salt Lake City, as well as Denver. And there's a widely used streetcar system in Portland, Oregon. And 12 News' Craig McKee reported live from the rails last night to show you how that system works. You can watch all of his reports on our website, WYSN.com. There you can also follow updates on our own construction.